Hello everybody, let me introduce you to Melissa Briggs, the author of the play and title. Mark Mellows with Bees. Alright. And what made you think of that story? How'd you call it? Um, I was thinking of ideas while I was sitting down and I looked at a book with marshmallows on it and so I was like, oh I love marshmallows so why don't I write about that? <laughs> Track writer she is, man. She was never lost for ideas. We knock this thing out every day. Boom, bang, boom. <laughs> she was a pleasure to work with. What was your favorite part of uh, doing the Young Story? Um, when we played games and <laughs> when we played games, that was my favorite part. Yeah, yeah. All right, so uh, here it is. It's its play. It's called Marshmallows for the Feast and the Devious King Gets His Way. Marshmallows for the Feast by Madison Briggs. Interior, Candyland, King's Palace, Day. The Lollipop King is sitting on his throne thinking and twiddling his thumbs. He gets an idea that he wants to have all the marshmallows in Candyland. He comes up with a plan to convince all the people to give him all the marshmallows. So he summons all the ministers of his court to the palace and gives a speech. Welcome to my royal court! I have decided to gather all the marshmallows in Candyland for my royal feast. And I need all of you to go out and fetch me all the marshmallows that the people have. <laughs> what if they don't want to give up their marshmallows? I don't care. <laughs> I want them anyway. If they don't want to give them up, I will send out my army and put them all in jail. His evil sister, Licorice Lauren, after hearing his speech, decides to convince the people to protest. She goes to the town square, stands on a soapbox, and gives her own speech to the town's people. People of Candyland, don't give your marshmallows to the king. He just wants to use them for his own feast. You should protest against this unfair law. The people hurry home to make signs for the protest. Exterior, town square morning. All the people meet at the town square with their signs to protest. Everyone is waving their signs. They decide to march to the king's palace. The king hears the protesters outside and sends out his candy army. Stop! End this protest now, or else we will put you all in jail. Why should we? We don't want to give you our marshmallows! Yeah, I agree! It's not fair! I command you to put these two protesters in jail! General Jawbreaker sends out two of his soldiers to arrest them two protesters. They grab them by their wrists and put them in the army truck. All the other protesters run back home. Exterior, King's Palace, next day. The Lollipop King gathers his ministers again and tells them of his new plan. <laughs> decided to offer the people a trade for their marshmallows. I want to offer the people six sticks of cinnamon for each bag of marshmallows. But that is not a fair trade, your highness. Fair or not? <laughs> I still want those marshmallows. Exterior, town square evening. <laughs> people of Candyland, listen to me. Instead of jail, I'm willing to offer you six, 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 six sticks of cinnamon for each of the bags of marshmallows. We don't want to trade you for cinnamon. We don't even like it. <laughs> I need the marshmallows for my royal feast. We don't care about your stupid feast. <laughs> Just at that moment, the king's evil sister, Licorice Lauren, parachutes down to the town square. Hey, everybody. I'll make all of you a better trade. I'll give you all free licorice for life if you give me your marshmallows instead. All the protesters run home to get their marshmallows. But the people don't hear him, they keep running. <laughs> Into your Candyland, King's Palace next day. The Lollipop King wakes up in his royal bedroom. 
He sits on his big fluffy bed and nudges the queen sleeping next to him. She jumps up, startled and, and confused. Why do you need all that marshmallow? <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, Peppermint Queen, I, I need you to make me a magic potion that will convince all the people to give me their marshmallows. And, well, I, I kind of told everyone that it's for my big royal feast. But the real reason is that I need them to make a marshmallow robot army. <laughs> the Peppermint Queen thinks about it for a moment. Ben looks at the king with a devious, fiendish grin. <laughs> The Peppermint Queen runs to her laboratory and gets to work on a potion. Interior Queen's lab, later that day. The Queen is frantically working her, in her laboratory making the magic potion. A puff of smoke bursts out. She comes out of her lab holding a bottle with orange liquid inside. She brings the potion to the King. Your potion is ready, my king. Be thankful I made it for you. <laughs> <laughs> the king splits the potion into tiny little cups. Exterior, town square next morning. He stands in the town square and gives another speech. The townspeople gather in front of him. Who likes orange juice? <laughs> I do! I do! Well, today is your lucky day. I will give everyone here a free cup of orange juice. Hey, I want some orange juice. The king sends out his candy army to pass out the cups to all the townspeople. All the protesters drink the magic potion. Keep drinking. I. <laughs> Y'all to go home and get all of your marshmallows and bring them to me. <laughs> all the protesters run home in a zombie-like trance. Licorice Lauren tries to stop the people, yeah. <laughs> but they keep running. <laughs> the end. <laughs>